So, what prompted the tussle? According to reports, two men, who allegedly attempted to enter a tech a retail store in Castries without wearing face masks, were asked to leave by an off-duty police officer. One of the men in question allegedly swore at the police officer before walking away. This is when witnesses say the officer grabbed his shirt. The attempted arrest caught on tape and widely circulated on social media has sparked debate on respect for law enforcement, resisting arrest, and freedom of speech. The visibly enraged man in the video questioned the reason for his detention, precipitating a scuffle in the store with the plainclothes police officer, while other civilians and friends of the man egged him on in defiance. Another off-duty police officer, who was also armed, pleaded unsuccessfully with the angry man to cooperate. HTS Straight Up host Claudius Francis has expressed disappointment with the behavior of some of the civilians on the scene. Things we ought to comment about where a man is saying to a police officer and to others present that he as well as every other St. Lucian has a legal right to curse the police. And we do not comment on that. And then we are going to ask the same police officers what they're doing about crime when we are per perpetuating somebody who is saying things, encouraging people to break the law and saying that's a right that you have. According to the Criminal Code 2005, Chapter 2, Part 5, Summary Offenses 508 on swearing or using abusive or indecent language in public, reads, quote, A person who in any public place or to the hearing of the public, A, swears, or B, uses any abusive, indecent, or obscene language, is liable on summary conviction to a fine of $1,000, end quote. Not a single person who commented on that tape referenced some of the comments made by the individual which can have far-reaching consequences. When he said on the tape that he has a right, as does every other solution, to curse a police officer. Nobody commented on that. So people viewing that tape, reading the comments, may well come away with the view that the young man was correct, that you can in fact curse and insult police officers because the law provides that opportunity and gives you that right. Nothing could be further from the truth. The police officer who was carrying a firearm has been commended for exercising restraint. Francis also rebuffed any criticism of the law enforcement officer's handling of the scuffle. I know somebody's going to tell me the police swear at people too, but you have a recourse against the police if a police officer swears at you. As long as you can prove it, there is recourse. And don't come and tell me about the police complaints unit doesn't work. I've seen it at work. I've seen people get redressed. And, and that's, you know, that's another thing. The police are their own worst enemies. Almost on a weekly basis, police officers are brought before the complaints committee and found wanting and fined, dismissed, suspended. The police force must make these statistics public. Law enforcement has confirmed that the man in the video was taken into police custody. Solaj Alfred. HTS News Force.